129. Kish one inch taller. She weighed in at 116 pounds, 115 on the nose for Felice Herrig. Herrig enters the octagon with a one inch reach advantage tonight. All right, now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Six wins, no losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Justine Kish. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 12 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Police Lil Bulldog, Harris! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson, our referee. Not sure what exactly is going on here. Looks like they are looking for a mouthpiece for Felice Herrig. Looks like her manager, Brian Butler, getting Felice Herrig the mouthpiece. So it got by the inspector. It did not get by the no-nonsense Keith Peterson. All right, here we go. Felice Herrig in blue. Man, Justine Kish Man, in ready? black. Fight. Huge fight here at 115 pounds. Justine Kish trying to get into the rankings and stay undefeated. Big right head kick by Kish early. And she likes his headlock position. Felice Herrick does too. Let's see who can win this position in the scramble. Right now we've got Herrick has the back. She's got both hooks in. Let's see if she can finish. This is exactly where Herrick wanted the fight. Let's see if Kish has enough juice just starting early to be able to defend this back take from Herrick. In terms of the confidence, Felice Herrig has never had more of it after the win over Alexa Grasso. It was good for Kish to grab that foot and unhook it. She did go the wrong way. Herrig still had her back technically, but she's athletic and she's strong, so she's able to get right out of that. Justine Kish outstanding in the clinch here. And immediately able to reverse Herrig to the fence. Felice with the body lock trying to get a takedown here. And this just shows how Man. strong Kish is, because right now everything in Herrig's position wins this war here and Kish is just overpowering this position she still got out technique so ended up on bottom but man she fought that well and now let's see if Kish can get back up to her feet from here she, it's pure strength she's using it's no technique here and right now you got Herrig using technique trying to keep that bottom leg hooked keep the body lock and from here you see Herrig's trying to keep that half guard just control the position keep Kish still for a second so she doesn't let her go and get back onto her feet Herrig working right out of her corner here, just over three minutes to go in the round. This is good for Herrig because right now Kish is using a ton of energy, not using the right technique. She's just pushing and muscling Herrig. So she's wasting a ton of energy, and Felice really isn't using too much. So it's good for Herrig in this position. This is not where Kish wants to be. Kish needs to turn towards Herrig, not away. Turn towards her, go to her back, try to go to a single or something. Get that right arm in between Herrig and herself. See how she's grabbing Herrig's leg? That will give her neck up, so she's got to be careful. She needs to get her arm in between the two of them and reach around the left leg of Herrig. Now, Kish goes to her back. There we go. And now she's got to get that right leg out from half guard of Herrig. Herrig's going to hold her down with that half guard. And you're seeing Kish elevate. And now, as she elevates, she's got to get under hooks. But because she's just arching, she's getting mounted with technique of Herrig. So Herrig attains the full mount and continues to apply pressure here to Justine Kish. Kish Good. trying to use those hips to get out. Great mount control by Herrig early. And then we see Kish get underneath the legs of Herrig, but still giving up the back, just exploding out of positions and not using the right techniques. You can't skip steps in jiu-jitsu, otherwise you just end up in worse holes over and over and over. And right now we're seeing Kish just ball up. She needs to worry about that bottom leg of Herrig, the one that's on the floor is the one that Kish needs to get underneath her leg. Now watch Harry go back to mount, 
keep the pressure on, keep the punches on. This is exactly where Herring wants the fight to be. Especially in the first round, this works because it takes a lot of the energy out of Justine early. Right. All that strength, all that athleticism is going to be burned right out of her early on. Very smart. 18 pro fights for Herrig. She has never been finished. Of course, she's trying to bounce Justine Kish from the ranks of the unbeaten tonight. Looks like Kish might be able to squirm out here. She does. She's out. But not after Herrig burned four minutes off the clock of control. Right. And now they're going to get back on their feet. Oh, beautiful right hand over the top for Herrig. Kish is one of those type of ladies that just doesn't care how much you hit her. She's going to yep. keep marching forward and keep just being as strong as possible. And that's what we saw there. It was a nice double by Herrick, but a great wizard defense by Justine Kish with just all her strength. And that's what that overhook is. That's overhook is. That's called a wizard. It keeps that arm so that you put all your weight down and it defends the takedowns of Herrick. Kish has a lot of respect for Herrig as an MMA pioneer, but understood acutely what type of opportunity was in front of her here tonight. And few women are going to be able to handle and, and match the physicality of Justine Kish. Honestly, it's like she has a button that she just, she just doesn't get tired and she doesn't get hurt and she stays strong. And those are her gifts. I mean, sometimes she misses technical moves, but she makes up for it a lot with, with that, all her other qualities. A big part of the challenge for Kish, making the weight. She did it again yesterday, trying to finish this first round strong. Dive. Guys, guys, come here. Easy now. Hey, your mouthpiece, big breath. Now, let's get back to the game plan, okay? We got that over with. Your nerves are out, All right? Yep. Big breath, get some water. Okay. Yeah, good. Perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect way to come back on the round. She's not strong enough to finish. You've been in bad position. Now it's time to start working yeah. your strong. A little bit of fake and faint. Set her up with the right hand. Okay. That's right. Bang away. Then move. Then lateral movement, keeping her on the outside, jabbing her, right? Making her come to you and make the takedown really easy. Get your win. Got it? Okay. You got this. You fucking got this, Felice. Okay. That's all she's got. That's okay. All she's That's it. Got. She's tired now, too. Listen, That's it. Move okay. your feet. All right. If you're getting the clinch, remember. Back ready to go here, round two. Justine Kish, all smiles, yeah, exhausting yeah, first round. I think Dom on both sides, but advantage Felice Herrig in terms of the total strikes landed. She also attempted four takedowns as well. Yeah, I mean, something about Justine Kish, Kish excuse me, reminds me of Diego Sanchez in a way. Just how she eats punches and marches forward and yeah. doesn't care. She's just so tough. And Felice is using such good technique in that first round. She controlled the whole first round with back mount, mount. I mean, it's great jiu-jitsu. You could tell that Curran has helped her a ton with that grappling. Kish, a remarkable story, as you documented when she walked to the Octagon tonight. Grew up in an orphanage, was bullied daily. Nobody's bullying her anymore. That is the truth. The Herrick corner very confident after that first round. They feel like the jab is going to be key for her, and they feel like Kish is sort of walking her way into the takedown. So Kish just looks like she's having a blast. I mean, she gets punched and laughs and then kicks her, and just it's it's fun to watch how little she cares about getting hit. I mean, she just walks right through it. And, and Felice is just great, using great technique. I mean, good left hook lands, another good left hook lands. I mean, great job by Felice, not taking a lot of damage. Looking very sharp tonight. Well, and if Kish looks happy to be here, it'd be hard to blame her. She was unable to compete on season 20, the Ultimate Fighter, due to injury, and that delayed. Oh! Delayed her UFC yeah, debut. Please. Both girls. Hands up, hands up. Women, I should say, landing like here that. in the pocket. Come One of the things that Curran told me he Fox, wanted to move. fix about Herrig was her hands. Fox, sir, and her move, hands are landing. Move, move please. Move your feet. The boxing's looking she's a little taking, bit better. She's taking two shots now later on in this round, but yes, the boxing of Felice yeah. is looking better. Now just mix the kicks in following Double those boxing jam, combinations. Like Cut opened up to the right of Justine Kish's right eye. Courtesy of that left hook from Felice Herrig. That weapon has landed consistently for Lil Bulldog. There it is again. They want Felice to double up on her jab. That's what Felice's corner is saying because that will close the distance and then set up her right hand left hook like she's throwing so well. 
huge right hand left hook. I mean, that's landed all night for Herrick. She needs to stay on that combination. But her corner's right. Double up on the jab, and you'll see more power into that left hook if you do so. Kish with a nice knee there. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Really exciting fight thus far, especially here in round two. I wouldn't mind seeing Herrick finish that left hook with a right low kick, you know? I mean, just yeah. add her kicks to the end of the combinations and be very devastating on the forward pressure of Kish if you take out that lead leg. And you see the strength of Kish there as she gets that clinch. That's her favorite position. She loves the tie clinch and just whipping her opponents around with that, with those trips. Nice body shot. That landed heavy by Kish. Kish now into the clinch after whipping on the spinning back fist. Fist able to get the elbow there. Nice underhooks by Herrick here. And that's what's key. Underhooks up against the octagon fence is key to control the position. Well, she'll get a takedown here. Very nicely done by Herrick. And that is big for Felice. Now into Kish's half guard. Less than two minutes to go in the round. Second takedown of the fight, but first of this round for Herrick. I mean, a lot of times, Harry's faced uh, grapplers, so she she just looks much sharper with her striking. But against Kish, she's looking extraordinarily sharp with her grappling. I mean, from the takedown, from the double underhooks, to the trip, to the way she did it, into the top control, she's doing an outstanding job fixing the holes in her game in the grappling. I mean, Kish isn't a consistent grappler. She's more of a striker. But still, this is how you win in these fights. You go against these people's uncomfortable positions, and that's what Herrick's doing. She's putting Kish exactly where she doesn't want to be, which is in the grappling exchanges. Eric thought about the mount, but Kish doing a nice job defensively to prevent Felice from doing so. Just over a minute here to go in round two. Kish, Kish needs an underhook. That's what we're seeing here. We're seeing her try to explode out of the position, which is giving up mount, side mount. I mean, we're seeing Felice go all over the positions, but all that we're seeing out of Kish is explosions. She's not using the right techniques, and so she just keeps getting into worse and worse positions as the round goes on. Now Herrick has her back mount, and now she's going to start looking for the choke. What Kish needs to do is control that wrist and then get the bottom hip out. Oh, she twists around, and it looks like she's able to use that athleticism and explosiveness to just twist right around in the guard. The back mount of Harry, excuse me. All power there for Justine Kish. Now inside the closed guard of Felice Herrig with less than 30 seconds to go on the round. Control time. No surprise that Herrig has the advantage. Now maybe working on an arm. Awesome arm bar attempt. But Kish is able to get her elbow out of there. Right, She spots it right at the, or just at the right time and gets her elbow out of there to be away from that threat. All right, so Kish will end the round on top. Five minutes remain. We'll be back with him for you. Okay, come on. Let's go. We're good. Okay. That's us, but I don't want to look. Girl. Hey, that's us. I know you're tired. She's tired, too. She's tired. You're, listen, your left hand is hurting. Your jabs are landing and your left hooks are landing. So this round, I want you boxing, cracking that left hand. Lead with it sometimes. But when, when you feel her settle, you need to go. She's faking a lot. She's faking a lot. When she fakes and she settles, I want you to throw. You see what I'm saying? Just beat her with that half second of timing. But you got to muster it up. you got to let that left hook and the right hand go. Sometimes if, you're, if you feel like you're a little slow, just crack her with the jab. When she pressures you, one more solid takedown and we seal the deal. But I don't want her getting this reversal 30 seconds in. Or 30 seconds left in the round. Got it? I don't care if it's boring. I don't care. Let's just take this. All right, here we go, third and final round. There is Felice Herrig in blue. Emma, you ready? Emma, you ready? Fight. And Justine Kish in black. Your thoughts on the message from Jeff Curran there to Felice Herrig? A lot of information from Curran, but yes. he sees a lot of urgency in this third round. He knows that Herrig needs another takedown to control this. And realistically, he's just trying to get Felice hyped up because Felice said she was tired in this third round. Nice takedown, double underhooks to the trip. And let's see if Kish can create some scrambles. Because so far it's been all Herrig with control in these grappling transitions. Herrig working hard to keep Kish down, and she does just that. I mean, honestly, Kish has done nothing but explode out of these positions. It's extraordinary that she still has energy left because she's not using a lot of technical moves. I mean, everything she does is powerful. So Herrig's using the right technique, 
and she's able to control these positions very well because of it. And she continues to pass guard and attain the mount. And Jeff Curran also said to Felice Herrig, he said, I don't care if it's boring, you got the lead. Let's finish the job here. And he's exactly right. I mean, we're seeing Kish right at the end of the rounds get these reversals. Curran says, don't give that up anymore. You're controlling her for four minutes. Don't give up the reversal at the end of the round. Keep the positions. Make it boring if you need to, but get the win. And right now, it's not boring. It's just technical. Yep. I mean, this is a hard-fought fight. I mean, all this grappling is exhausting. So that's why Herrick's saying, I'm tired, I'm tired. It's hard to do this in these style of fights. Let's listen in now to Jeff Curran in the red corner of Felice Herrick. Left elbow, left elbow, yes! All right, please. Hips down, stay low. No reversal. All position. Hips down, stay hips up, down. Stay up. Hips down. Go to the back. Clan, clan. Yes. There you go. Nice back to the choke yeah. is in. That is it. That looks yeah. like it's in. Now let's see if Kish can keep pull it out. Mm. That looks like it's sunk in, and it Kish trying to fight that arm. There's a wince. We'll see if Felice Herrick can get the finish. Kish fighting hands here, Dom. She's on the choke, but she's, she, that's it. That's in deep. She might go out. She might just not even try to tap and just go out. That's what it's looking like because that is in sunk deep. Oh, that's tight now. Felice Herrick trying to be the first to finish. Justine so Kish. So tough of Kish. She got out of that. She rolled to her back and got out. Wow. That explains the toughness. Incredible. That was all the way sunk in. Incredible toughness by Kish. Remarkable recovery, but Felice Herrick in a dominant position here. Less than two and a half minutes out of going the round. Yeah, I mean, this is all Herrick this entire round. Oh, yeah. Great technique. Almost had that choke, but how about Kish getting out of that? I mean, that was completely Unreal. sunk in. She just has no quit in her. And neither does Herrick. Herrick gets right back in this top position. She's not out of this. She's still passing. She's still going to good positions. She's not just laying and praying. She's working here and working for better positions. And you wonder how much Justine Kish has left after fighting off that submission attempt. She is mounted again here. Tried to buck Herrig off, nothing doing. The grappling of Herrig has just been too much. The technique has just been too much for Kish to deal with. And that says a lot because Herrig used to get out grappled in her past. That's how much she's improved. And she already had the striking, so we're seeing huge differences in, in Herrig. And Kish you have to move. needs to use that, that single leg that she, she's trying to reach for with her left arm. She can reach for a single, take her head down to the legs of Herrig and try to get to her feet. But reaching over the top of Herrig's arm, the way she is right now, is just going to hold her down. And she's, it looks like she's ran out of that explosive energy just right now. It took about 14 minutes. But she just doesn't have that big explosion anymore. Herrig has and made her work so hard defensively. And how about the hips and the athleticism to work to the back now? One minute to go in this third and final round. It has been all Felice Herrig thus far in this final round. I mean, right as I said, she's got no explosion left. She arches up. I mean, she gives yeah. her back again, but that takes a lot of energy to explode the way she's doing. And Herrig just taking full advantage of it, making her pay for not going through the positions correctly. How about the tenacity of Felice Herrig here tonight? I mean, she is not sitting on this lead, emptying the tank to try to finish Justine Kish here tonight. Awesome job by, by Herrig to stay busy and keep working the entire time. And Kish just isn't fighting those hooks off. That's the problem. See how the legs are in? And that's what's causing the problems is the legs of Herrig holding Kish. I mean, she's going from back mount to half guard to mount because Kish isn't fighting the hooks, which are the legs that go in. And there's a hook right there. And Herrig throws that other hook in. And that's what's really causing the problem for Kish this entire fight are those, those hooks that Herrig's keeping control of. Well, what a last two years it has been for Felice Herrig. Came in as the ranked fighter and the underdog here tonight. What a performance by the Crystal Lake, Illinois native, Felice Herrig. All right, the official decision coming up next. We'll talk to the winner as well. Stay with us. And streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Now to make it official, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-26, 30-26, and 29-27 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Police Little Bulldog Harris! All right, OKC, okay, here she is.
she is. She lit up this arena tonight. Felice Harrigan. Smile, young lady. You just keep getting better every fight out. How good does this performance feel tonight against a very tough 115 of there and Justine Kish? Uh, three in a row for me. So, UFC, you better start recognizing. Um, it was amazing. You know, since the Ultimate Fighter, Justine didn't get a chance to fight, but she was one girl I had my eye on to not fight. And um, I got the call from Sean Shelby, and I'm also not one to turn down fights, so I was like, shit, I gotta get ready. And it was a tough fight. It was a really tough fight. I'm not sure I've ever seen your corner so satisfied with a performance, and it seems like when your confidence sort of catches up with the ability that you can beat any 115er in the world. How confident are you now that you can take your shots at the top five in this division's elite? You know, I just keep getting better and better, and I keep facing my demons and fighting fights, and I'm like, wow, that's... I just took out two undefeated fighters in my last two fights, and I just feel like I keep getting better and better, and starting to believe in myself a lot more. Such a clean technical performance. How comfortable did you feel on the ground? I mean, you just dominated the grappling exchanges against, again, a very physically tough straw weight, Justine. I mean, I had to work for those positions, and I had to work to keep them, but I do have a really good team behind me. My, my, my coach, Jeff Curran, is a phenomenal, phenomenal ground fighter, and um, my boxer, my boxing coach, Doug Mango, as well. I just, I feel good anywhere the fight goes. <laughs> I know you're not the calling out type, but this positions you for a massive fight going forward. Who might be next for you? Honestly, every time I call somebody out, the UFC doesn't give me what I want, so I'm done calling people out. I just sit back, wait for the call, and take who they put in front of me. That's what fighters do. Well, you're fighting, we're watching. Congratulations on another big one. Ladies and gentlemen, Lil Bulldog, Felice Herrig. And it all came down to the takedowns for Herrick tonight. I mean, great takedowns, underhooks, to body locks, to trips. I mean, she started up top, dropped down to the legs. It was strategic. Then the positioning. I mean, it was all position over submission, which in the end almost got her the submission. I mean, you got to grind your opponent out with those positions until they get tired. And, man, Felice did a great job doing that. Let's get to the move of the fight, sponsored by Metro PCS, covering 99% of people in the U.S. with a network that's more reliable than ever. And here's some of those trips. She's got double underhooks. So she trips the outside. Kiss tries to go for the headlock. She takes the back, throws the hooks in, wins the scramble here. Then from here, she's got double underhooks again. From here, she hits the trip, goes to half guard, keeps the top position. Lot of left hooks landing all night. Right hand, left hooks were, was the combination for her to get to the takedowns. And right here, she's got both hooks in. She's got the back mount. Choke goes in. Kish just unwilling to quit. I mean, that was completely sunk in perfectly. And Kish just wasn't going to have it. She wasn't going to quit. But Felice.